come here at my first customer I just want to kind of go over the setup of my uh, my truck for you guys in my toolbox I carry a uh, jump pack and air compressor a hatchet some of the tools I carry my Husqvarna 142 chainsaw and uh, the chaps and helmet are under there but um, carry that in the truck extra string line extra two cycle fuel in case I have to make any on the road uh, oil and some other light tools um, over there I carry a uh, Husqvarna uh, combi can that carries my two cycle fuel and my bar oil for the chainsaws um, due to stupid regulations in this country I actually have that can imported from England um, most of the time I carry my two cycle fuel in that alone uh, it's more than enough for the lawns that I do but I actually got a one gallon can of two cycle fuel uh, right there just I got a big cleanup job coming tomorrow so I'm gonna be doing a lot of weed whacking so I grab an extra can of fuel and then my uh, regular gasoline over there um, I generally fill the XT1 and that lasts me about two weeks of cutting uh, maybe just topping off for one of the bigger lawns but at the speed it cuts I get about uh, two weeks of fuel or two cuts two days of cutting out of a single fuel tank coming in on fumes onto the trailer uh, this is just an old push mower I found on the side of the road one day works fine um, I just have it for spots that uh, if I can't get into or if it's soggy one of my customers has a swamp in his backyard and July through October it's fine but April May and June it's kind of swampy and if I ever pick up another customer like this uh, cleanup job I'm doing tomorrow uh, there's a few places that just aren't accessible to the riding mower and then we have my trailer um, I originally bought this for my rail car but I'm using it also on the side business every uh, two weeks. Like I said, I load up the uh, trailer and with the mower and come out. Um, what you see here is actually a bit extra I'm carrying because of that big cleanup job I do have scheduled for tomorrow. Um, the yard is just literally a mess. So there's going to be a lot of debris removal. So I got my rake and my uh, shovel, oh, my snow scoop just to pick up light material. I also got my dethatching implement there, um, this wagon, and then here's my lawn mower. Um, like I said, the XT1. It's a does great for what I ask it to do. I run around with the mulching kit on. Um, generally, the first cuts of the year, I I open it up, and then uh, after that, I just mulch the clippings. It's obviously healthier for the lawn. Um, as a safety, I added these two pieces of uh, dunnage lumber here, uh, lag bolted into the trailer. Uh, I strap everything down, but this kind of provides a nice lock for the wheels, also for the uh, front end loader. And on the back of the tractor, if you notice, um, I have those gun mounts, but they're great for carrying the weed whacker. Um, I use the Ryobi Expandit uh, brand. And yeah, I know it's not a professional grade quote unquote uh, weed whacker, but it's going on three years now and I've never had a problem with it. Uh, it does everything I ask it to do. That string trimmer does great work. Um, you know, I'm not out breaking into the low of 40 new and land clearing every day. So, you know, I'm mostly trimming around light posts and mailboxes and trees and that's done fine. Um, ear protection off. I always have my cone out for safety. The thing I like about the Ryobi is that um, you have that detachable blower. So I don't have to carry around a leaf blower and a, or a backpack blower or 
really buy a separate tool. One engine is powering two different tools. So here's my landscaping setup, or my grass cutting setup. Um, like I said, I'm not a professional landscaper, but you know, I uh, I do try to make do with what I got. I guess that's part of that kind of that homesteading attitude is doing what you can with what you got. So rather than go out and buy and uh, thousands of dollars and new tools and stuff, I just uh, may do with what I have. And it's worked out well. And uh, a lot of people wonder why I carry the weed whacker with me. Um, you know, I don't always get to park directly in front of my customer's house. Uh, on this road here, where I'm parked is the only wide spot without flipping over my truck. And, uh, you know, my customer is uh, actually down the road away. He's down there, so... You know, it's just easy to carry all the tools with you rather than going back. Yeah, I just got out of work. I worked a 16-hour uh, shift, uh, evening shift in the overnight. And just heading out to do a couple lawns on a uh, side business that I've been kind of cultivating over the last uh, couple of years. Uh, about three years ago now, I bought the Cub Cadet XT1 uh, tractor lawnmower. And I've done a lot of videos on it, and it's been a great mower um, and tractor. It's done everything I've asked it to do. Um, and, you know, the first year I had it, I just mowed my yard and, you know, another property I own up in New Hampshire. And, uh, you know, I, I kind of sat there and <sighs> said to myself during the winter, I said, you know, I own a... You know, a fifteen hundred dollar lawnmower, a thousand dollar trailer, you know, a couple hundred dollar weed whacker with attachments, and you know, all this stuff is being used once every three weeks. Uh, you know, it's a lot of money just kind of sitting idle all the time. And you know, last year I kind of ventured into starting to looking to start a lawn care business and more so just mowing uh, kind of a mow and go type operation um, you know I'm not set up for uh, weed spraying and fertilization and all the other stuff um, you know I was really aiming to just mow lawns and trim and kind of be on my way and I kind of did some market research in this area and you know this part of Massachusetts is real heavy with landscapers I mean there's they're just everywhere so yeah, it's a pretty crowded marketplace and uh, I started watching the uh, YouTube channel uh, Dirt Monkey University uh, guy Stanley Gendek I think I'm saying his name right anyway he uh, very very smart guy if you actually sit down and watch his videos and you know get past all the cool equipment he has he's got some really great advice and tips and you know part of that was uh, you know don't race to the bottom when you're doing your bidding and I, I found that to be true uh, there's another fellow on there uh, lawn care life I think his name is Jason another very you know guy that knows the business and you know, I'm not looking to do it five six seven days a week I, I do my lawns and I whittled it down and I got it refined down to that I do it once every two weeks I line up all my customers in a row I have a route I go do them and uh, that's that's making me some decent money on the side when I first started doing this I was accepting lawns for twenty dollars, twenty-five dollars, and I was spending an hour cutting this stuff. And it just initially, like I said last year, I, I kind of got shooed away from it just because you know I'm making twenty dollars for an hour's worth of work, beating up my machine on this grass that's uh, you know three feet high. So. 
you know, it just really wasn't worth it to me. Um, so I kind of stopped. And then I, I did some more research, and I, I said, you know what, I, I gotta really change what I'm advertising through and looking through. So I, instead of going on Craigslist and looking for every little lawn mowing job there was, and, and chasing down, like I said, twenty dollar bills, driving all over, all over the place, I uh, started mowing for a, a co-worker's family, and from there. The business spread. Um, word of mouth advertising is, is better than anything on the internet that I've done, uh, the website that I made, the Facebook page that I had. Um, that's been the best advertising. Um, people know who they're getting, and I guess when a friend tells them, you know, this guy is really worth it and worth the money, it's, uh, you know, that's pretty helpful to us. So, I've been uh, been doing okay. Like I said, I used to go out all the time. Every time someone called, and then I uh, I kind of learned that it's just easy to put some people on a schedule. Because like I said, I don't do this full time. I mean, I got a regular job, and you know, this is just kind of a side gig for me. And you know, I was I was running out constantly, putting miles on the truck, and. You know, loading up the trailer every other time to uh, go look for lawns to mow. So I finally got everyone that's a regular customer on a single day schedule. And when I leave work, I just go do them. Um, you know, I'm tired, but at the end of the day, it's cash in your pocket, and you know, it's uh, it's a decent side business and you know I, I like to provide a quality product to my customers so you know I, I, and I think I do I've gotten great feedback and like I said the business has expanded and I'm starting to dabble into the cleanup area and also doing work with my front end loader um, did a job the other day where I moved about 10 tons of rock And also with that job, I, you know, kind of saw what I needed to do if I wanted to do any sort of uh, hardscape work or, you know, I definitely have to expand and hire a helper. Um, you know, that job took me about three hours to do. Um, plus, I had a guy that came and just raked the stuff out for me. So, um, I got a cleanup job scheduled you know and that's that's kind of a market I'm getting interested in because that one cleanup job I have scheduled is more than I make in a month on regular time at my job now, granted all of expenses I got to rent a brush cutter and you know, I'm gonna pay a helper to come help me so I can get it done in a reasonable amount of time but um, yeah that's definitely a market I'm going to be looking into this fall. Is the cleanup market? I missed the spring cleanup rush. I mean, it's June, but yeah, this fall I'm going to be trying to expand that business model. Um, so, anyway, we're on our way to our next customer and. Let's go cut some lawns and then go and take a nap and go back to my regular job in a couple hours. So, thanks for riding with me.